Okay, today I'm gonna to show you how I do it, uh, replacing a bump stop on a JK or JKL Wrangler. Um, let's say from 2007 to 2011, maybe even higher if they're the same. But mine's a 2008, and this is the old one I took out, which not really doing anything anymore. It's uh, and that's the new one. I can give you a part to this one. I mean a part number for this. Okay, and there's um, a couple ways you can do it. Uh, when I go over the truck, I'm gonna explain it, but basically I found out I did it with a, a four, about a four and a half inch piece of, uh, just a regular, you know, muffler pipe. Uh, let me see what size this is. Of course, the size does matter because of the, uh, you know, when you sneak it into the uh, spring area. This one, is basically one and three quarter. So one and three quarter outside diameter, or you can use a little bit thinner, but don't use thicker. I'll explain that when you have to like slip it into the spring. And what you're gonna do is once you get this in the socket, you're just gonna lower the truck on it. But you're gonna what you're gonna do is put some kind of a something here. This is like a, a little plastic colorful battery terminal, a little piece, just something that you could just slide over it once it's installed. So you don't rip this, you know, with the edges of the uh, pipe. And you're gonna lower the uh, truck and it's gonna slip it, slip it right in. And I'll show you how to do that. All right, that could be one way. And there could be another way with a long threaded 10 millimeter bolt. See, it has a hole here. And I'll, I'll show you how to do that one too. Uh, you're gonna put, you're gonna need like a long rod, like a, like a 10 inch rod that's pretty much threaded halfway. And I didn't, I didn't have anything in the shop and I didn't feel like going to the local store. So I use the pipe instead. But if you don't, you know, have a pipe, you don't know how to cut it with a sawzall or, or hacksaw, maybe you could use it this way. And I'll show you both ways. All right. Okay. So what I did, I jacked up the truck on the frame. All right. And I'm leaving the suspension hanging down because when I'm going to put pressure to push the uh, bump stop in place, I'm gonna um, put a jack stand underneath the underneath the um, the axle right here, and this way it's gonna push it up. All right. So basically, this one was missing in action. It wasn't there. What you want to do? And I'm gonna show you here. So you can see this. You can see like you see it. It has three prongs. There's one prong there. One one over there. And one over there. Make sure all around it is nice and clean. There's no rust. So when you push the new bump stop in, it seats in straight. Okay? So basically, there's tabs that that are digging in on this part. So when, when, you, when you push this in, the little tabs, they dig on this. All right? They dig, they dig in it like that. There's, there's three of them. I just showed you in there. So when you push this in, you have to push it all the way to the top, the top of the um, the joint itself. It's right here. Not this whole, this whole tube is empty. It's about, I would say about uh, maybe an inch. So when you push it in, actually it has to go more than an inch. It has to go basically push it. It's gonna probably go right there around here. So that's probably an inch and a half. Okay, and I'm going to show you what it's going to look like. And s s some cars, it depends if you have a, a Rubicon, has a little bit heavier duty suspension. Uh, I see a couple of guys struggling to get these things in, but basically mine just goes right in. Look at this, it'll go right in. I'm using my, yeah, here we go. It goes right in, and obviously it goes up here. I'm going to put a little grease on it. You know, but you see how this looks, how it looks like this? See, here's the the edge. It's got to go into like right around where the uh, this lettering is. See, so that's, that's about an inch and a half. All right. So now, let me explain. And I didn't have this one in, and I was at the beach the other day. Matter of fact, there was sand in here. You know, why do they put holes here? I mean, 
right where the wheels are. So now the sand's gonna build up and you gotta be careful. You gotta rot, that's how these things get rotted out. Anyway, um, uh, then what you can do is like I said, there's two methods. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the method where I'm pushing it in with a, a, four and a, half, a four and a half inch piece of pipe. But then you have this, which you can feed it down here. There's a hole in there that goes to right about here. It's like a big washer in there. And what you can do is put a wash at 10 millimeter, but it has to be about 10 inches long or some kind of a bar. And you put a thick washer here. So the hole inside over there is a little wider than it. So, you know, so it doesn't fall all the way through. And right when you feed it in, what you can do, Let me just do it so uh, I'm holding the camera. Okay. All right, so you would feed it in from the bottom, right? And it would come in through there, all right? Assuming that this is in place, it's in there, right? And you, you put the bolt through the, 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 the top. And then what you do is you would put a big washer, a big like a fender washer, and then you would just screw it. And so basically as you screw this, as you screw it, it's gonna get tighter and it'll go in nice and neat. You know, that's an easy way to do it. But I did, like I said, I didn't have, this is the longest bolt I had. And it's only like six inches. You need something like around 10 inches because it's gonna stop right here. But then of course the, the bumper itself is not all the way in. So you're gonna need room for that. So you're gonna need at least 10 inches. And um, you know, a washer on the top, like I said, a washer on the top. Let me see if I can show you. This is looking out from the... Let's see. Yeah, you can see that. Okay, see the hole right there? That hole? Yeah, you got to get a washer that's bigger than that hole so the bolt doesn't fall through. Okay? Now that washer is right about, right about, right about here, like I said. You just put the bolt in there. And you put the uh, bumper stop here, and you screw it, screw it, screw it, and it pushes it in. The way I'm gonna do it is, first I'm gonna put a little grease on here. I'm gonna grease the edge a little bit. And I'm gonna grease, grease the edge of this. I'm gonna put it in place, and then I'm gonna show you how I press it in. Okay, so like I said, I put the pipe in through here. Like I said, this was a one and three quarter inch diameter pipe, because when you slip it in, you wanna make sure it can fit through the spring. And about four, about four and a quarter inches, no longer than that because then you won't, it, in other words, the suspension's all the way down, you won't have room to put it. And I see, I just put this little plastic piece here. So, you know, you don't wanna just use the the, um, the pipe because it could rip it. So you just put something in here now, basically. And then I put the, uh, the jack stand right there. Sorry, jack stand's right there. Now, let me see if I can do it with one hand. Uh, I'm going to put the camera down for one second. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to lower it and let's see how it goes. There we go. It up now. Make sure I'm gonna get this one. It's a little crooked. It's a little crooked. I'm gonna I'm gonna adjust it. Yeah, but basically you got the idea. The pipe is a little crooked. It, it's it's bent like this, so I gotta I gotta move the pipe back so it goes in straight, then lower it. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like when I'm finished. It's hard to do with one hand. All right, but you got the idea. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lift it, lift the car up again to relieve the pressure, and just you know position it a little bit better so it goes in straight. Okay, so that's what it looks like installed, and you see it's right up to the second ridge. I would say it was it's in about. One and, uh, one and three quarter inches. And you wanna make sure like the round, the round seam is even with the lip over here all the way around. All right, make sure it's not in crooked. And when you release it, it that it's not crooked. Or oh, you gotta just do it again. 
You just got to um, push it up again until you get it nice and seated. And that's basically it. And the other method, like I said, again, you put the screw through the top and you'll be threading it on the bottom and pushing it in as you thread it. But the, the, this way is a little easier, maybe? I don't know. Um, you can just get it, like I said, here. Just a piece of regular uh, inch and three quarter outside diameter. A muffler pipe, a little piece. You can probably get it for a couple of bucks. If you cut it with a hacksaw, if you don't have a, a, a saw saw or a cutoff wheel, about four and a half to four and three quarter inches. And like I said, you put something on top. You put, you put something on top so you don't press this part against the rubber or whatever the hell that thing is and you'll rip it. So you just put something on top or wash a piece of metal or look at what I did over there. And that's basically it. Man, I was on the beach, like I said, it was bottoming out. And you know, if you go over a bump, you feel like like your tire, you know, like you go over a curb and you you know like you hit, it feels like your rim, it's like metal to metal, you feel like your rim, you hit a, your, hem, your rim, uh, you know, like when you do a curb and it feels like metal to metal. Well, a lot of times that, uh, this is what that is. It, these things are missing. I was going over the bumps. I, I knew what mine was, but one time I just hit a bump. You know, not not a bad bump. And I guess the suspension bottom didn't sound like, you know, I, I smashed my rim. You know, uh, but it wasn't that. It was this. This thing travels a lot. It has a lot of, lot of travel. Believe it or not, it travels a lot. And, you know, that makes sense. This side was missing. And if you leave it like that, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna bend that, or you're gonna you you can you can bend the rim. It's just not it's not good to do that. All right, guys. I'm sorry about babbling, but uh, <laughs> um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Please subscribe uh, to my channel. I got tons of more videos coming, like I keep saying, and I really appreciate everybody subscribing so far. Uh, keep it going strong. If you got any questions, you know I'll try to answer it as soon as I can. Thanks a lot, Motocarna 2020, and I'll see you guys in the next video.